what am I beating myself? Because on my last voice meter tutorial, I talk about this. As a continuous improvement, I came back with the part two tutorial, solving two problems. One is the sound cracking and the audio latency. My name is Pyrus Torres. I stream on Twitch, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you have questions about voice meter and the Razer Rip Saw, do hop back to the channel and ask me. If I cannot solve it, definitely I will get back to you. So let's get to get on to our today's topics. So first of all, whether you're on the streaming or the gaming PC, the first thing that we're gonna do is to open up our voice meter. So once you open up our voice meter, go to the menu, click the system setting. So there's two main files that we are that we are using. One is either MME or WDM. Of course, preferably you will use the WDM. But unfortunately, my audio interface could not work concurrently with WDM, while my game audio output in WDM as well. If I set both, they will have uh, some kind of conflict. So I will have a sound breaking for my microphone. So go to the system setting. I'm currently using two audio files. One is MME, one is WDM. So now, now get back to the default buffering size that voice meter provided to us. One is MME at 1024. The rest WM, WDM and KX will be 512. So first thing first, you need to make sure all our audio sample rate will be set identical. So be it if you are using 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz, you have to make sure your microphone, your game audio will be set at the same sample rate. So how to do so? Of course, if you see here, all my sample rate is already set been already been set as identical. So if you do not know how to do it, right click on our open up our sound setting, go to the sound panel. It will pop up this uh sound the small windows. So right click our speaker in this case is the headset. Go to the advanced set as forty eight kilohertz. Go down to the voice meter input and also apply to aux and VAIO3. Open up the property, go to the advanced and set at 48 kilohertz. So on our voice meter uh, window, you will see 48 kilohertz have been set. So now, after we set identical for the 48 kilohertz, now we're going to play a little bit on the buffering size and see how far our computer can react when we reduce the buffering size. Of course, if you don't have problem with the default buffering size, just leave it on and bye bye. But before you go, so what I'm going to do is, since I'll be using MME and WDM file, let me try to reduce. So what you can do is always try to reduce one or two step samples. So that make sure our, to see how our system react to lower buffering size. The 224, still okay. On the go further will be but now nah, here's the problem. When I set my WDM at 128, you will see my bus A1 and the headset output will be increased, uh, increased to 1024. So in this case, I found out that no, this is not something uh, that I like. So now get back to one step ahead, that's 160. Now you can see the buffering size now is 160. So as promised, I like to keep my video short and sweet to keep it between 3 to 5 minutes and possible there will be 10 minutes videos. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, do hop back to my Twitch channel or leave your comment down below. Let me know if the video is helping you. If it yet, give me a thumbs up. If it don't, give me a thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one. But before you go, so once again, thanks for watching. Let's play, let's learn, and let's grow together. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.